I was given the opportunity to stay the night in the Hotel de Glace, which means Ice Hotel. It was certainly an experience I will never forget. exactly where I stayed. If you ever wondered what an entire room made of ice, including the bed, looks like, I'm about to show you. Come on. So this is it. Room 40. It's like a giant igloo. You have a mattress on top of a block of ice. Even your bedside table and your headboard are made of ice. And then what they do is they give you the sleeping bag, one of those mummy type sleeping bags and you roll it out and you follow this protocol that they uh, tell you how to do it and literally the only thing that you can see are your eyes. Now the amazing thing about the Ice Hotel is it's only here four months out of the year obviously because of the seasons and of course because it's so popular they have a frozen theme here this year like this ice cave where you can see things like the snow monster and of course our little buddy Olaf and the best part the ice slide. I say we check it out. I hear there's a faster one on over the other side. I think we'll try that one out. From the Ice Hotel, we were off to check out another winter activity. All right, so there aren't any dog sledding scenes in Frozen, but when Disney invites you someplace, they do it all out. So they invited us on a dog sledding adventure. Not sure who's more excited, the dogs or me. Let's go. Well, the dogs on my sled weren't exactly mushing that fast. It's okay, though. I got a good workout pushing them up hills. Besides, just another life experience I've always wanted to accomplish. Well, next morning, we were up bright and early to head to the Sugar Shack. We enjoyed a breakfast that included maple syrup on, well, pretty much everything. Felt a little something like this, actually. Can you pass the maple syrup, please? I, I didn't put it. It's spaghetti. Oh, you know what? I think I have something. And apparently, when you're enjoying the traditional Quebecois breakfast, you need to partake in the musical tradition of playing the wooden spoons. Of course, given my last name, I had to give it a whirl. Complete with my ski bib overalls, of course. But you know, our weekend wasn't complete without a little snowmobiling through the countryside. 